how did you first become involved with uh, Halloween 1978? I was, um, I was with an agency, uh, a modeling agency. Uh oh, I've got incoming cat. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> Incoming big boy. Um, <laughs> I was uh, doing, you know, I, I had done uh, another film and I was doing some theater and different things. So it was just another call that came in from my agency for a, um, uh, a horror movie. And so that's how I got it. My agent just called me and said, they want to interview you. So I went and I interviewed in a house that was... Um, close to the Myers house. Um, might have actually been one of the houses they filmed in, but I'm not real sure. But the house was there somewhere. And they interviewed me. I read several parts. And um, I think they called like the next day, they called my agent and said that they wanted me to play Judith. Oh, wow. So um, did you know any anything... Um as far as the storyline going in, who Judith was in relation to um, the story or, or had you seen the script or anything like that? No, of course the script was still very coveted, I'm sure. And um, I did not know that Michael was gonna grow up <laughs> to be the ultimate slasher. Sure. So when I, when I went to the premiere, which was, nothing like the premieres today, but it was basically just the cast and some family and crew and stuff. And I was sitting there and it went to the scenes after my scene. And it was just like, oh my God, this is terrifying. And <laughs> so it, it scared the hell out of me. And I, I really didn't know what was going to happen. So that was actually kind of cool. I'm glad I didn't. Excellent. Ex well, I was, that's something else I was going to ask about the what you thought the first time you um, saw it. But even before that, um, talking about the, the shoot itself, because um, I'm just super curious, obviously, being a huge fan of the film, and, and we've all, you know, watched it a million times, and we watch it every year at least, uh, at least once every year. Um, most, most of our audience does, I think. They can relate. And we've all watched um, that, that famous opening sequence, not just, uh, not just one of the most famous sequences and and um, moments in the Halloween franchise but really in in horror cinema and cinema at large and uh, and and certainly um, in Halloween lore so um, <laughs> but um, uh, on the actual filming of it so so you, you just you went to the audition and and then you got word that they wanted you for Judith so um, was it just really soon after that like days after that that you were on set Yes, I don't think it was very long, maybe a mm -hmm. few days, maybe mm -hmm. a week. Okay. And um, yeah, it was, it was, it was pretty quick. And were you on set um, just one day or, or how long, how many days do, I you, think, do you remember? I think it was just one, I think it was just one day mm -hmm. and we did, they were still fixing up the house because okay. it was dilapidated, you know, for most of the movie. And even though my scene is first, it was actually one of the last ones filmed. Okay. So they had to fix up the house. So they were, you know, doing things to make the house look new and lived in and all that stuff. At the same time, we were going through the lines and um, working with John and Deborah just to practice it. It, it was a really complicated scene, as you know. It was yes. a very long shot all the way from the front of the house, around the house, through the house, um, the makeup, the makeout scene up the stairs. I mean, it was a lot going on. Yes. And so we ran through it several times, but we actually only did two takes. Oh, wow. So a lot of rehearsal, I guess, but actual shooting, it was two takes and they got it. Wow. Wow, that's yeah, that's amazing. And so, like you said, I mean, one of the most famous sequences with the the steady shot, and um, and I I interviewed Dean Cundy, the cinematographer, a few years ago, and and we talked a lot about that. So you you remember um the prep and the detail and and basically the choreography, I guess you could call it. 
I do. And I remember that um, everybody was talking about that camera. It was a really yeah. big deal. It was fairly new, I guess. So everybody was real excited to have that camera on set and to, to do that really long shot. So it was it was exciting. Awesome. Awesome. And um, do you remember as far as um, your performance, any directions that, that you got at the, at the time? Any direction from Carpenter or um, that you can recall? I, I just remember them telling me they wanted the downstairs scene to just be really playful and fun mm -hmm. um, and just kind of teasing kind of a situation, nothing heavy. And then, of course, upstairs, they wanted me to just be relaxed and humming and just, you know, what you would do after a 10 second sex scene. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> but um, yeah, so I remember that. I remember that there was um, Deborah and I think John and maybe just the camera man um, there. So it was it was a little scary waiting for them to get up there because I was, mm -hmm. um, you know, kind of alone knowing I'm about to be murdered, yeah. waiting for all of them to get up there. And so, yeah, it was kind of spooky, but it was fun. That does sound uh, kind of creepy, actually, literally being alone in, in the bedroom uh, waiting for <laughs> um, the, the arrival of your death scene. Um, yeah. Now, obviously, like you said, it was it was only probably the three of them on set at that. So was it Deborah doing the the stabbing at that time? I know she did um, Michael's hands in the kitchen. Was was that her doing the stabbing in those scenes or in that shot? It was. They didn't. Yeah, they didn't want a child in there sure. uh, with that. So yeah, it was just a, a Deborah John and the camera people.